All right, guys, uh, welcome back to another Luke Godwin golf video. We are going to go over um, how to get out of the escape shot. So here we're on number 18. Um, this, if you don't get a good tee shot and you hit just a small push or whatever, you end up getting about right here. Um, and the green is over there. So you have to hit this big slice or just a little cut. So today we're going to go over the uh, two different shots you can do here, really three. Um, but the, the main two is going to be your first one is your big slice and hit a long iron, like a four iron or something. Just try to run it up there. And then your, uh, second one is just going to be punching it out there. Just trying to get it just out there to the little gap and just have a small little wedge in. And the third one, um, which isn't really a main one that you would do is the same thing, but try to be a little bit more aggressive and go just say, if that's 150 all the way down to that bank, try to hit like an eight iron and try to get as much of it out there. Or there's, okay, so there's four. Um, there's, and that these two go hand in hand. You can do that, which is, to me, I never do that. I think it's kind of pointless. Or you can just punch it out there to the 150 marker where you know that's a number that you like or something like that. Um, so that really helps to, when before you hit a shot like this and you're uh, thinking about what you should do is, ranging a spot out there and seeing hey is that is that the number that I want to be at and I'm comfortable with that so for me I would love 124 yards in that would be a say a full three-quarter gap I would like that number so that's what I'd lay up to if I was going to lay up to it but for me I love um, going for the aggressive shot which some aren't but we're going to go over all of them um, the aggressive line the safe line and just the in between so see what we can do here though all righty guys so um we're gonna Get ready here. So, you know, I'm just threw out four balls here. We'll go over all, all four options that I gave. Uh, the main two, though, I'll I explain a little bit more on those big two that I said. Those are the two main ones that anybody's going to do it. I mean, it's just going to be, you probably simplize it as going aggressive and staying safe. Um, on this shot, to be particularly honest, if it was me and I didn't have a huge uh, slice in the bag or something that I knew I could play and keep a low stinger out of it, I'd probably, let's see. Let me see what that bank is. So that bank is 163 over there. So you got these branches right here, so you can't hit a eight, full eight iron or something. So you're gonna have to throw out something small. So if I was gonna go with a safe play, I'd probably punch a seven iron or six iron and put a little little cut on it, not a slice if I didn't have the slice. Now, if I had the slice, I'd throw a three iron uh, slice out there, which is what I'm gonna do as, as the aggressive play. So um, we'll see, um, see how it goes. All right, first off the aggressive line so I have my little three iron here trusty old three iron and this is what i would do if i was i got in this position and y'all have seen it in my other videos um i'm gonna be the i'm gonna go aggressive here and hit a big slice not in a great lie or anything but so it's 163 yards here guys so i'm gonna have to hit a big slice so what i'm gonna do here is one main thing is I like a three iron because I can't hit a hybrid. So, and it works perfect for these shots. So I think to the green, you're looking at about 215, 220 yards. So hitting that big slice, even though I hit my three iron about 240, that's about right with the slice that I'm gonna put on the shot. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go right there where I shot at the bank over there, just straight ahead about five yards from the tree I'm gonna start it there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna slice it around that tree. So you can do here. So I might go really far. So when you do these, you gotta go far inside. And when you go, you just come straight inside. But one main thing that a lot of people forget is when you do that, you have to hold it. So Tommy Fleetwood does this really well, but he does it in his normal shots. He gets it up and he holds it off. Beautiful shot. Um, and you're gonna do the same thing here. You're just gonna take it. You're gonna take it back really really high and everything get up there and then come in and when you get in Hold it and just pull straight across Now get it the slice definitely if you hold out because if you don't hold off the chance of you catching it and flicking at the last second the non committed shot so Just like I said here And just like I said, guys, that's exactly what I wrote it up. I started a little bit farther out than I wanted, but I'm okay with that. That was, my goal was about five yards to the left. 
I was probably about eight. So I'm okay with that. Um, probably gonna have a small chip in. So really, I would take that shot any day. Now, um, I would preferably want it to be rain up there a little bit farther, just cause that's probably gonna be a 40 yard shot. It's kind of a weird number. And so that 40 yard shot is gonna be definitely weird. But um, on to number two here. I'm honestly, I'm very happy with that. But on to the second shot. All right, guys. This is the second one. So this is the non-aggressive line, the safer line to not flirt with getting slicing it into the trees or something if you don't really have that shot. Um, so I have a six iron. Um, and what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna punch it out there. I'm gonna put a little cut on it. Same start line as I started the three iron. I'm gonna put a little cut on it to where it should uh, edge the wood line here. It should be just up there. I got a six iron, so it's not gonna be a full swing or anything. It's just gonna be a punch. So right here so it's just gonna be here about three a half in between half and three quarter here so I'm gonna go about right here and punch it right there now I want you to do the same thing because this being at that line you can still um, hit a bit a slice you could say not a big slice but in between a cut and a slice if you do that hold off so on all these shots just because this is a slice you need to hold it off it really helps now, I know a lot of people don't think about that, but when you hold it off like that, it really helps the consistency of the cut. So, this six iron here, just gonna be like in between a half and three quarter, and just gonna be a bunt out there. And on here, you don't have to go super far outside and then come in. Here, I'm just gonna go like a normal shot. It's gonna be more straight up and down than inside like we normally would, because a normal swing would be here. This one's gonna be about right there, okay? So it's gonna be straight up. All right. So just a punch here. Just like I said, guys, um, kind of, kind of took a little bit farther up, and we're on the bank, so not the best thing, but you got the point there. I took it up a little bit too far, but and that's the big thing. So if you can think about, like I said, in between a three quarter and a half, the half is still going to get it out there plenty far. Three quarter, you're, you're flirting with the woods, but you're not there yet. And if you're right there in the middle, you're perfect. So, I mean, you can't go wrong. That was probably a three yard cut. Um, I would rather it more if I was doing the safer shot. I would try to be a little bit more aggressive, but if you're playing the safe route, then you're gonna go for that shot and just get it out. So, on to the third shot here, to the third shot here. All right, so on to the third shot here. And I'm just gonna talk it through. I don't think y'all need to see the shot. Um, it's kind of pretty self-explanatory. And so the 150's out there, guys. Um, so I'm just gonna shoot it right here. Okay, that's 90 yards. So if it was me, I would literally, I would just get up there. I don't really got any trees or anything to worry about. So I would honestly, if you wanted to take the safe play, um, I would probably do, I've done this a couple of times and it really, a lot of people think it's a joke and stuff, but I would just grab my seven iron and just do a half shot out there. One, it's less of a swing. You're not trying to kill the ball or not try to kill the ball, but even try to do a full swing. You just punch it out there and it's so much easier and safer. Um, not, I mean, not too much can go wrong. It's really easy. But I, I mean, I've seen tons of people make fun of me about it, but it's really, I mean, I think it's an underrated shot. I mean, just grabbing a seven iron and punching it out there. Done it several tournaments and a lot, kids that are right next to me will sit there and hit a full pit, uh, gap wedge when I'm just punching a seven iron to the spot that I want down there. And for them, for me, I know what, how that rollout's gonna do off that seven iron. They don't really know because who hits a gap wedge onto a fairway like rarely any times. So they don't really know how that spin's gonna do. And I know that seven iron's just gonna roll out probably about 10, 10 yards at the most. So I play for that. So um, if I was here, I'd probably hit, just punch a seven iron right out there, probably just do a smooth half shot. Um, but if I wasn't gonna do the seven iron, I would probably, it's 90 yards. So there's like a little branch that's hanging over. So at the most club I'd use is 56 and just do um, a three quarter swing, just popping it out there. So yeah, so um, that's the, I guess you could say three key shots to escape shots. Um, so yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Um, stay tuned, make sure you're, you like and subscribe and um, make sure you catch me on the next one. Um, Sunday matches should be coming soon. So uh, make sure you put, turn on your notifications for that and um, 
tell me if you like this type of video if you do we'll do more um, I like doing these type of just videos just trying to teach more people about how to do escape shots because I know there's a lot of people that play golf that take that safer out every single time and so taking that more aggressive line it, it comes in handy a lot of times and a lot of people are scared to do that so if you don't practice it well you get in a tournament you're not going to do it so uh, make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one guys